Today's soccer practice is going to be a little different because we're going to talk about the game itself. So I'm going to ask you to find a way to be active while you're watching this video. Whether it's walking in place, maybe you're on the ground doing push-ups and planks and sit-ups while you're watching. But find a way to be active while you're watching this video, while we go over the game of soccer itself. Alright, while you're staying active, I want you to be able to see and hear me. This video is meant for the younger ages, the 5-on-5 five five game, 5v5, five five, where you have five people on the field at a time for your team against five people on the field uh, on the other team. I want you to make a diamond with your hands. Look at this diamond right now because this is going to be important when we look at our soccer field. This diamond has a top or front up here, two sides, and a bottom or back once we get on the field. So again, when you make this diamond, top, bottom, or front and back, and then the sides of the diamond. So we're looking now at a field, and I'll talk again about our diamond in a second, but first notice we have eight people on our team, one through eight. The goalie, the one person allowed to use their hands, the one back by the goal, is a different color because the goalie wears a different color jersey so both teams know which person is allowed to use their hands in the game. So going back to that diamond formation, we have five versus five, five v five. We get five people on the field. Let's take these five and step on the field. Our team might be eight people, might have eight people on it. So these people will stay off at the beginning and they will be subbed in during the game. Meaning they will get to play at some point and somebody else will sit down. So again, going back to our people on the field, we're gonna go back to that diamond shape. That diamond again had a front of the diamond or top of the diamond that will go right there. That diamond had two sides, one person on this side and one person on that side. And then that diamond also had a back, the back of the diamond there, which goes right here. Your goalie doesn't shape in that diamond. Your goalie's always there no matter what's going on in your game. So we're just gonna put that goalie a little closer to the goal. And notice the diamond formation that's out there right now. When the game starts, everybody starts on your half of the field. We are trying to score in this goal right here. When the ball is in play, let's put the ball right in the middle. When the game is going on, the top of the diamond, who's this person up here, or top is trying to score over here, top of the diamond is going to move all the way up the field up there. The sides of our diamond come up here, and the back of our diamond is right here. This will stretch our field out. Now we still have our diamond formation, and that's what we call our base, our normal, uh, formation. The reason I say that is because of course everybody is allowed to move around. What we want are the sides of the diamonds what will ultimately transition into midfielders can go up the field towards the goal and back to help on defense. We want the back of our diamond, our defender, to always stay in the backfield here so that they can always help out the goalie. And we want our forward or front of the diamond, our striker up here, to always be downfield no matter where the ball is. So again, if the ball is up there where it is now, these mids would come and help and these three would all try to score while our back of the diamond stays back and our goalie is always there. When the ball is in the middle of the field, the sides of our diamond would be the ones getting it, either this person or this person, doesn't matter whom, but our front of the diamond or forward stays down the field and our back of the diamond or our defend, or defender is right there. When the ball 
is back there by the defense, by the goal we are defending. The defense is, of course, the back of the defense, or back of the diamond is, of course, helping. Midfielders come and help as well. So we'll have three people along with our goalie in the back to help. And again, you'll notice the front of our diamond, our forward, our striker, is always staying up front so that we can get the ball up to that person and they can try to score. So now we're gonna add a second team. You'll notice this second team has seven players on it. We have eight, we're the yellow team, but it's still five v five, five versus five. So they're gonna have five people on the field as well. They will have their goalie who's in the other color jersey because that defines who the goalie is. They're the only person allowed to use their hands. They will have, let's say they use the same formation as us. So a back of the diamond right there, a defender. Two midfielders, the sides of that triangle. And then again, their forward, their front. And I'm saying it backwards for them because they are going in that direction towards us. We are going this direction towards them. So the front of the diamond or forward is there. They are going towards us. So their front of the diamond is right there. So looking back at us, this is our formation. Again, when the ball is up here, our front of the diamond is always with it downfield or even stays downfield. Our midfielders, the sides of the diamonds, are gonna come up with that soccer ball. And the back of our diamond will stay back here, helping out our goalie. Let's say they stole the ball, sent it down the field, and they're going down the field now. Remember, we have the back of our diamond here to help. Our midfielders, the sides of our diamonds, are going all over the field, remember, so they're gonna come back and help. So our midfielders are going all the way up, remember, if the ball is up here, and all the way back if the ball is back here. And so you notice we have help for our goalie back there. Our forward, that front of the diamond, always stays downfield so that if we steal it, we can get that ball downfield, create a an advantage or at least a situation where we can try to get a shot on goal. So that's five on five soccer. Again, you'll be substituting a lot, which means there'll be times where they will switch, where they will switch, well, they will switch, and we'll always still have our diamond formation. You'll also switch positions around. So maybe that person will go there, these two might switch around. Maybe this person comes in for that person now. Maybe this person goes in here. That person comes back in, goes there. But you notice we still have our diamond formation. There are other formations as well, of course. I'll show you with the red team, with the other team. This is a box formation some teams do. There are other formations you can do. I just find that diamond formation, the best formation for teams I coach. Also, it transforms easily as the game progresses. If you get better, as you get better, that front of the diamond, we call a forward. Those sides of the diamonds progress into what we call midfielders. And then the back of the diamond right here progresses to our defenders, our defense. And as always, we have our goalie. That's our lesson for today. I know it was a little different learning that 5v5, 5 versus 5 game. As you progress, there'll be more people on the field. 7v7, 9v9, and eventually 11 versus 11. Hope you had fun, stay active.